Hey guys, today we're talking about Canon's brand new Canon EF 100-400mm f by 4.5 till 5.6 L IS version 2 USM lens here. It's a great lens and it's a newer of the 200 and 100 to 400 mm lenses that Canon has brought out in recent years. The first one, which is the IS version 1 lens, right now costs $1,600 about, and this one costs just under $2,200. That's a huge difference. And this one has an updated IS, the IS version 2. Now, uh, you know what some of these nomenclature um, matters for layman, for example. Now, EF meaning that this is for full frame. You can also use it on a crop sensor, on an APS-C sensor. All full, uh, full frame lenses can be used on a crop sensor. And uh, then this one, I the aperture range is from 4.5 till 5.6. So at 100, you get 4.5. At 400, you get 5.6. It's an L lens, which meaning you have this nice red color ring that denotes an L lens. Now L lens is kind of the highest precision, most premium lenses that Canon uh, produces. IS2 meaning image stabilization version 2 and then USM meaning ultrasonic motor which means that it has a super silent autofocus motor which is uh, very very useful in case let's say you're shooting wildlife where you do not want even the minimum amount of noise that might scare the wild animals anyway so uh we're gonna take a closer look at this lens but before that uh this is a very heavy lens and with the color it weighs about um just over 1.6 kilo but still i actually managed to handhold it and used on the brand new canon 70 mark ii here so an aps-c sensor uh, 100 to 400 becomes into 1.6x in a focal range so uh, 400 you'd get a good amount of even more uh, you know focal range for those bird photography and other things at no extra cost and generally when i uh, go to shoot wildlife or action photography i generally prefer an aps-c sensor always so for telephoto lenses aps-c sensor is more advantageous than a full frame sensor of course you sacrifice a bit of detail and low light you know performance compared to the full frame but still anyway so coming back to the lens uh, having a closer look it's all metal and that explains the 1.6 kilo very heavy weight now um, it mainly has three parts really so you have uh, the front part where your uh, filter goes it has a 77 mm you know thread for filter where you also uh, get this hood that goes in now it goes in and locks securely here and you will know when it locks because this button comes out now to take it out you first have to press this button and then take it out you also have uh, this particular window through which you can adjust your filter without um, you know, having to take off that uh, hood which is a good thing you can see the model number ET83D apart from that then you have uh, the zoom part which is very very smooth and very fat ring i absolutely love this large zoom rings it has a rubber coating on top or yeah which gives that much needed grip on your hand now um one thing to note here is that just uh, behind the zoom ring there is another metal ring and uh, there you can see it's mentioned that smooth or tight what it means is that um, now i have the metal ring towards the left so my zoom ring becomes very very smooth and slightly on the loser side here but when i turn this metal ring towards the right my zoom ring becomes a little tougher uh, to operate it becomes tighter now that um, that could be purely your personal preference but at times it actually um, you know helps to keep it tight or loose if you're let's say um, if you're shooting or if you're, if you're panning an object um, or if you're uh, you know shooting very fast moving object you might want your zoom to be slightly on the smoother side uh, but then again at, in some situations you might want it on the tighter side as well and then 
the third part is of course the focus ring here which works at all time it does not matter whether you're in autofocus mode or in uh, the manual focus mode and you can see in the um, display there how the focus ring is performing you have uh, four buttons just behind the focus ring one is that focus focus range selector uh, button which meaning when you have it full uh, the camera is gonna um, you know, try to auto focus starting from its minimum uh, minimum focal distance of about I guess a 0.98 meter till infinity and then you can toggle it to have it search only beyond 3 meter now this is important and this actually uh, greatly helps in acquiring a sharper and quicker out of focus for example if you let's say shooting an animal and you know that that animal is beyond three meter if you still have the autofocus button at full then it's gonna search even under three meter now and um, <clears throat> that that's gonna take much longer to focus on that particular animal so when you have it toggled to three meter to infinity it will only start um, you know looking after three meter reducing the total time to log the focus on the subject then you have an autofocus to manual focus button of course it's self-explanatory even if you have it on autofocus you can actually fine-tune uh, the focus by just moving the focus ring and then you have the stabilizer on or off and then three stabilizer modes now that's a big deal each of these modes actually cater to different kind of stabilizing uh, features mode one is um, you know when the lens try to stabilize in all directions and uh, um, it's, it's, it's particularly useful when you're shooting you know still object uh, under relatively low light mode 2 is mainly for moving object now um, it's try to uh, correct the vertical vibration you know when you're shooting a subject that's moving uh, you know horizontally and then vice versa mode 3 uh, is mainly during exposure correct some axis and then you have uh, the collar here the tripod collar you cannot remove the collar but mm, you can remove the stand only now then, let's talk about the performance of the 100 to 400 mm is2 this one we tested this lens on the latest canon 7d mark ii and we talk about our test here the lens expectedly is all metal and hence heavy but very very sturdy. Despite of being heavy however you can actually carry it around although extended period of holding it in shooting position might be tough. Thanks to the IS2 though handheld sharp shots are possible. You can watch the video below to have a sense of the focus speed and accuracy of the lens. The focus locking is quite fast is deadly accurate and once it finds the focus of moving subject it tracks them pretty well. There was uh, one incident of the focus getting lost at around 17 seconds I guess but I won't be too worried about an exception. The exposure jumps were quite harsh at times though. This bugger is bloody sharp and the second generation IS is amazing. See how sharp the focused areas are in the below uh, images. The bokeh are very good, soft, creamy, roundish but not completely round. The DOF is very apparent because of which you can probably try this for headshot portraits as well. Vignetting is severe at 100mm f by 4.5 and 400mm f by 5.6. 200 and 300 mm at their widest are better things get better once you once you start closing the aperture and at almost um, you know at beyond six uh, vignetting is almost non-existent there is slight chromatic aberration at across uh, all apertures of 100 mm beyond this we did not observe any there is very slight keystoning at the lower focal lengths when we were too picky Overall, almost no distortion at all. Confirmed, no pincushion distortion as well, which is so prevalent in uh, you know, this kind of uh, super telephoto lenses. As far as ghosting and flaring is concerned, the Aosphere coating was supposed to check flaring and it did that to a great level. We saw some flaring at lower uh, focal lengths wide open, but not too much of our concern. 
ah stabilization we kept the best still the last the is version 2 is very advanced and it's awesome handheld we did not for once use tripod and still got some very sharp images the new is promises four stop advantage and we got perfectly sharp photo handheld under low light at 1 by 40 second when shooting at 40 uh, mm that's about four stop below 400 mm our photo shook a bit at 1 by 10 second while shooting at 100 mm which is also a four stop below that but we're still mighty pleased with the stabilization and especially when your hands kind of give up holding that heavy lens for an extended period of time you would really really thank this uh, updated image stabilization so how much do you want to buy this new 100 to 400 mm is2 lens now remember 2200 dollars the is first version cost 1600 dollars and that's 600 dollars uh, difference um, this guy has a great stabilization lot of modes but whether you need that stabilization will largely depend on what type of photographer you are and how we, do you intend to use this particular lens if you're mostly gonna use this lens on a tripod then you might not need that very advanced stabilization but note that Canon actually um, aims or Canon wants you to use this particular lens handheld that's why they gave the such a advanced image stabilization system um, because it's actually hard to carry and manage a tripod everywhere it's generally great if you have a super telephoto lens that can be handheld but most super um, most telephoto lenses are so heavy they're very hard to handheld and at, in that process they shake a lot uh, making your pictures blurry so that's why that advanced stabilization so i generally always want to use my camera handheld so this lens is uh, that image stabilization would be a great feature for me, me and could be the deal maker you also have a 400mm 5.6 lens which is much cheaper than this one which is even cheaper than the 100 to 400 is version 1 that costs I think um, I think between 13 to 1400 dollars now if you do not need the zoom range here uh, if you think you would always need um, that 400mm uh, end of it only then that lens is almost equally sharp than this one so it totally depends on your budget and your intent and what kind of photography you're gonna do but a great amazing lens out here if you like this video please hit the like button ask anything related to this lens and we'll try to answer them all and please subscribe and share this video to share the love ciao